There are three kinds of structs in Rust. There are structs with named fields, there are tuple structs, and there are unit structs. So let's start off with structs with named fields. Let's create a struct called player that holds the player name and hit points. We can now create an instance of the player struct in our main function, instantiating each field as if it was a variable of the same type. To access a field on the struct, we'll use the dot notation. A tuple struct, however, doesn't have named fields. Let's create a tuple struct for the player's location. And let's not forget to set the location. Since a tuple struct doesn't have named fields, we have to access each field by its corresponding number. So to access the first field of position, we use dot zero. To add methods to our struct, we create an implementation block. And this implementation block lives outside the definition of the struct. It doesn't even have to live in the same module as the struct is defined in. Let's create a method to describe the player and move the print line macro calls into that method. And then we can call the method from the main function. Note how the describe method has one argument which is ampersand self with a lowercase s. This makes this an instance method and is called using the dot notation in the same way you would access a field on the struct. Methods that don't take a reference to self are called associated functions. Let's create an associated function that creates an instance of a player. Since the last expression is always return, we can get rid of return and semicolon. Self with a lowercase s refers to an instance of a struct. Self with an uppercase s within the context of the struct refers to the type of the struct. Therefore, we can rename player to self here. Rather than having all players named Bob, let's take name as an argument. Since the argument and the field have the same name, we can use the field in its shorthand, so we don't have to write out name twice. Now we can use the associated function new to create an instance of a player. Note that an associated function is called with double colon rather than a single dot. We can also destructure a struct or break it down for parts, as in we take the parts we want and throw away the rest. Let's say that we're only interested in the location and the name of the player. We can use the following syntax to break down the player struct into two variables, the name and the location. Here we're using two dots for the fields that we don't care about. It doesn't matter how many fields we have, the two dots will cover all the other fields that are not specifically named. We can even do this in the argument position of a function. Since we might want to print out the location of a player's untimely demise, we can even take this one step further and destructure the location. And finally, we can call this function passing ownership of a player to the function. Well, poor Bob. Well, there you have it. Now you know about structs.